Hey, what's up, fellas? It's like uh, 10 30 at night here. I just finished uh, shutting this down. This is my uh, wife's shrine to her father. Uh, I'm going to shut the light off here. I <clears throat> It's about 70 degrees in the house. It's like 50 some odd degrees outside. Here, I'll show you. <laughs> we still have the Halloween stuff in. Um, we bought, for the very first time in our lives, we bought an enormous amount of uh, candy, chocolate. and um, You can buy it by the pound on um, Amazon. And my wife went to Costco. We've never bought so much candy. And it doesn't fucking matter. I'll just get some point. Um, we had over 125 kids come by. And... I'm very excited, very happy, and very excited. I think there are so many people out there who want everything in our lives to be doom and gloom. I saw so many younger families, and I saw some of the, uh, <clears throat> I saw probably almost 80% of my neighbors. I didn't realize how many people that live in my um my neighborhood is considered one of the safest neighborhoods in uh, El Paso. That's not a gated community, but there's so many police officers and I'll just say law enforcement officers, Leos, in here. They were come by, and you know it was nice. It was just it was for me. Uh, I see you as younger men as my future and I saw a couple of groups of five and ten young men who were just banding together and they were all dressed up in just some crazy stuff and I had a uh, old music go I just it was just so fucking nice and all these little every every age of a child you could see and uh uh, we all talked, uh, I talked about voting with some of the people. We talked about food. We talk, I just, it looked like everybody stopped and took a breath and just, and then there were kids who didn't want to walk anymore. And I don't want any more candy. <laughs> I've had enough. <laughs> I'd like to go. It was just, it was nice. Uh, we gave out, um, to the parents and the people there, we would give out like bottles of water. And um, for me, I use uh, uh, Halloween as a gauge for it's an, uh, in my opinion, it's an objective way to take a look at your community. I'm not, there are, there are tons of kids. There are tons of, we ran out of kids. My wife. She was, she was so upset that we ran out of candy, and we had, we only gave out candy to 125 uh, kids, and I, and I'm not sure I have the right. Anyways, it was just, they were all nice and polite, and they had parents with them, and they had flashlights and glow sticks, and there were costumes. Everything from Buzz Lightyear to Batman, Spider-Man. I mean, it was just. It, it, it showed to me that maybe some of these people who are predicting the end of the world, maybe they don't know what the fuck they're talking about. And my, my one neighbor would say, hey, yeah, we, I, uh, yeah, we live right over here, right in back of you. Yeah, I've seen, I, I, you know, I walk almost every day three or four miles, and uh, I like to, um, Andrew Huberman talks to you about getting a little bit of sun, so I always try to get sunlight, anyways, it doesn't fucking matter, vitamin D and all the rest of that bullshit, but I guess a lot of my neighbors are seeing, oh yeah, we see you walking all the time, and da 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 da, -da. we used to see you with your dog, and how's your wife doing, and I'm just like, um, for the first time in probably three years, the neighbors that lived directly across from me and a little bit off to the, to the left of me, if you look out my front door, if you're standing facing towards the street, 
and not the house. They all had pumpkins out and were passing out candy. Uh, my neighbor, like, uh, I kept getting texts all night long, like, hey, man, can you, can you, do you got any extra candy? <laughs> we all ran out of candy. Normally, um, not normally, but the last, I'd say, three years that we've lived here, I think maybe we got, like, 30, 40 kids at the most, and... Everybody was talkative. Hey, how are you? I speak I, I speak uh, pretty good Spanish. I speak a little bit of Korean. I speak a little bit of uh, I sp anyway, Arabic. I sp anyways. Well, I just you would, or I speak a little bit of Japanese. And what you say to them is you say Ohio goes must. And they'd be like, they're like, what? <laughs> Anyways, and there were, uh, it just, it just, it just reassures me that um, I'm going to invest as much time and energy and effort I can to helping younger men get where they need to go or, or just help them without, God damn the fucking thing. You know what? I'm tired of this fucking world. My I can I'll do it up here. Motherfucker. Okay, I got that one now. That is a ghetto fix. <laughs> I just stapled. I just stapled my robe closed. Anyways, I can I, I'm gonna vote. Promise me you'll vote. I am a brand new Republican, and I'm going to vote Republican. I don't mean that to tell you what to do. I'm, I just want to help you. I, I don't want to take anything from you. I'm not trying to tell you what to do or how you should think or anything like that. I think that's, I think that's probably the worst thing an older guy can do to a younger guy is to try to direct them. Um, I will be there for you if you're a young man in my uh, scope of influence and you make a mistake. I'll be there to help you out. Um, anyways, let me, I, I digress. I got all fucking off the subject. Huh? I can't tell you. I'm very happy, very reassured. So many kids, and I mean the gambit. Uh, there were people carrying babies around, pushing strollers around. They were full-blown teenagers who were like, look, motherfucker, didn't you come here like twice? <laughs> Anyways, we give away the full candy bars. I just, it was nice. It was really, really, really nice. I think a lot of people are trying to manipulate us, so. Promise me you'll vote. I don't care who you vote for, but I'm willing to bet you about, eh, let's say, 10 grand that uh, Governor Abbott re wins re-election and Beto, I call him Beta or Dork, Robert Oate or Rourke, all right, we call him Beta or Dork here. You know the guy who, who was in the presidential campaign you know, I'm going to take your AR-15. I'm going to take your your weapons. You don't need this. You don't need them. Anyway. Anyways, anyways. It was, it was just nice. It was really nice. It was a nice, had a great time with my wife. We got dressed up. I mean, my feet hurt from standing out on the car. There were so many children. And they would come in like groups of one or two. And... There were cars watching them. They all had flashlights. It was just good family fun. Nobody was loud or rude, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you. Uh, trick or treat. Uh, not up to just a happy Halloween. Man, I, I passed out bottles of water to people who were there. It was just it's reassuring. Very reassuring. I don't think things are as bad as fucking people are telling us. All right, stay safe and healthy, 
It's it's got to be close to eleven o'clock. I gotta put all this shit away tomorrow. <laughs> um, it was very very good time. Very reassuring. Um, take care of each other if you can. If you can't, take care of yourself. You deserve it. You're worth it. You're my future. And I'm not going to do anything to stand in your way. Like a fart in a G-string from West Texas, El Paso. I'm out of here. Bye-bye. Oh, hey, listen. Listen. We had Muslim Americans. We had Jewish Americans. We had Catholics. We had Protestants. We had Asians. We had African Americans. We had just uh, the entire Rainbow Coalition came by tonight. And it was just... Anyways, it was a night. You guys, goodbye. Uh, uh, good night, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.